Hello, Bedford YMCA family. Hope that you're doing well. Thank you for popping on here and joining me today with a cross training light workout. Remember, cross training light workouts can be kept light the whole way through, or you can add options and make them not so light. All right, so do what you need to do for your body today. We're going to get warmed up a little bit. Just some knees up in front. Listen to your body. If you need to stop doing something, stop. Make movements smaller if you need to. Good, both arms pulling in. No music today, just us. Just us moving the body. Good. Changing things if you need to. Adding intensity where it's appropriate for you. Three more, two. Good, now go ahead and just a squat position. Squat and extend the legs. Down and push, down and push, down and push. Extending that body as we're super tall, feeling strength in through those glutes, all the way pressing through, quads getting warmer. One more, we're gonna add on. Squat knee, okay? Squat knee, adding those arms to it. If you need to keep the arms down, keep them down. Three more. Two. And one. Good, change. Outside leg lift. You know where your toes should be pointing right now. They're forward, just like your hips. Add the arms. Push. Push. Good. Squat position. Half squat. Maybe you're feeling a little bit warmer, getting a little deeper into that squat. If not, stay up high. Pain free through those joints. One more. Add the outside knee again. Pull down, maybe a little bit higher with the arms. Push, push through those feet. Good, one more on each side. Yes, now that abductor out to the side, arms, follow the legs. Three more, two, good, good, bring those Knees in in front, bicep curl here. Knees stay in alignment with those hips, remember, right now. Three more, two. All right, a little bit wider. Now we can take that knee out a little bit. Circle the arms. Three more on each, two, good. All right, keep those feet out. I want you to go ahead and just get a little bit of range of motion here, like a wood chopper. Reach it up, push, pivoting, remember, pivot on that back foot. Feel strength through that back hip. Two more, push through. Good, stop it in the center, other side. Push and pivot, push and pivot. You guys can hear my dog up there. <laughs> Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Flat back in the center. Round up. Roll. Flat back again. Round up. Roll back. Two more. Flat. Round up. And roll. Last one. Flat back. Round up and roll good a little bit more here again range of motion working through preparing the body good push and push and push one more all right now let's add an arm so we're going to come down here think about this being warm up range of motion rather than work one more other arm, here we go. Reach down and around. Down and around. Two more. Down and around. Last one. All right, bring your feet in. Shake your legs out a little bit. Okay. Shake the arms out. All right, what I want you to do is take yourself to one leg. All right, I'm going to be on my left, so it's your right if you're doing the mirror image here. Nice tall posture, really strong through here. All right, and we're gonna keep the hands close 
or you can take them out or you can take them in the front. But for right now, we're just stepping back. It's this little diagonal, okay? Reaching back, so it's not straight back, it's not straight out to the side. So your hands can be here if you want. If you want a little more stability work, they're here. And if you want movement, let's go ahead and put them here. You have three more, two, and one. Keeping that knee underneath that hip, okay? Right in alignment with the hip and the ankle. So we're stepping back, bring it in, step back. At that angle, not bending over. We've got work, constant work in that hip and glute here. Constant work all the way down to that floor. Four more, remember arm options. Three, two, last one. Very good, now we're going straight out to the side. Out and in. So it's a short hold. When we repeat this, we maybe we'll add a little more depth on that. Two more. And one, either side. We've got eight. Bring it in. Seven, so glancing down at that knee every now and then, making sure that alignment is where it's supposed to be. Three more. And two. And one, good. Now we're gonna go straight back, okay? Straight back. Arms can be here. They can be here. They can be reaching back. We've got four more, four. And three. And two. Get another one. Other side. Okay, options here. Five, keep an eye on that knee. Four, I one that gets a little bit shaky right now. Two, and one. Nice job. So knees up. Gonna get the heart rate going a little bit more. Just realized one of my shoes is untied. <laughs> Something felt kind of strange down there on that foot. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now, we're here again, pull in, out. So keeping this lighter level of intensity, it's right here. Maybe an arm, but you're staying high. If you wanna add, we drop down a little bit, press up, drop down, press up, drop down. Pain free, okay, so if it feels a little bit wonky on your knee, keep that range of motion shorter. One more, good to the other side, come on, out and in. Keeping an eye, checking that knee every now and then. Five and four, three, so it's a single leg work. Two, one more, straight out to the side. Got eight, out, in. Dropping down if you want, standing up. Dropping down, dropping down, one more. Up, two more, last one. Other side, come on, out, all the way up, seven. Right after the side of that toe tap. It's light, it's really light. Four more. Up. Two more. Last one. Good, good. Now straight back. And seven. Six, drop in that down if you need to. Five. Four, that gives you more work. Come on. Three. Two. Other leg, You've got eight. In, keep it high if you need to. Four, three, two, one more. Good, good, knees up, let's go. Continuing the movement with those legs. Lift, lift, press the arms out. Turn right, you're right. Four, three, two, come back to the front, pull down. Turn left. Four, three, turn right. So you're facing this way again. Good. Now to add intensity to that, of course, you could do a run. Right, high knee run if you needed to. Right, good. But keeping it to the level that you need. Seven more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into a set of wall push-ups. So we did these the other day. I hope you can see all the way back here. But hands here, step on the side wall. Hands here, right? Dropping ourselves down, pressing ourselves back. Second option, on the knees. Spread those fingers, gonna keep our elbows in a little bit closer to the body, not way out here at the side. Okay, and we're dropping down. Push up. 
exhale, push. Side glutes. Three more. Two. And one. Very nice. Getting up slow from that. More to come on those, okay? More to come. All right, feet are here. So we're gonna go away from that single leg work and get some double leg in here. So we did these in the warm up. Okay, dropping down into that squat. Just be really intentional about your position here. If hands need to stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, they can come up front, extending the legs. They can reach out. Okay, out and up. Out and up. Three more. There we go. One more. Nice job. Now we're going back to those push ups. Okay, come on. Wall. Knees, toes, get ready to do toes. Here we go. We've got eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one more. Good. Knees down, come up slow. All right, come on slow from that. Knees up when you're ready. Arms. Go ahead, they're pressing out. Turn right, turn left, left again, arms up, face front again, four, three, two, and one, back to your squat. This time, I'm going to add similar things that we did earlier, but maybe a little more depth this time. All right, come on. Reaching up if you need to. Three, two, one. Very nice. Eight more push ups. So choose that positioning. Wall, knees, toes, maybe a little bit of both. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Exhale, push. One more. Good. Coming up slow. Water, mine's right over there. I'm getting just a second. Make sure you stay hydrated. Good God. Press those arms out this time. Press them up. Good, press them front again. Push, push. Four more. Three, two. All right, squat position. Remember, short squat if you need. All right, don't drop down too far if you're uncomfortable. Just be okay with that short range. Here we go. Up, reach in. Optional there. Extending the body. Come on, extend. If you want to find something to hold on to during these, hand weights. Ah, uh, jars in your kitchen. I don't know. Get on the water. Three more. A few more on these. Two. This has longer. One. Good, good. Now, squat abductor. We did these a couple weeks ago in one of our cross training light videos. Okay, press that leg out. Add the arms if you want. Push them out. Let's make this a little bit slower. Focus on a little more balance. A little more core strength, right? Working through this strong section of the body. Press it out. Press it out. One more on each side. Yes. Good, good. All right, we're going down for push-ups again. A little change maybe this time through. So, I'll show you on the knees first. We're going to do four. So we're down and up. Three. Exhale, push. Two. Good. So hold at the top. Reposition those hands, right? Under the shoulders. Tight glutes. Very nice. So from here, option is to take that left foot down. Take the right leg back for a second. Put it down. Gently. Switch it over. Other side. Put it down gently. Always keeping those shoulders over the hands. Good. 
one more in each. So if you're in your standard push-up position on the toes, we're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up on that option, okay? One more in each. Good. And then we'll finish with four more push-ups. So either on your knees or your toes or at the wall. One more. Up. Good. Sit back for a second. Get a nice little feel-good stretch there in the shoulders and the back. Very nice. Walk your hands in. Come on up strong. Right, and then we'll place one foot in front. Come all the way up. Shake your legs out. Shake them out, shake them out. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of a cool down here, but I want to encourage you to do that again. Do it again. Okay? Two times minimum. Three times if you can. Or if you only have time to do one time through, find those weights. Find something that's going to add some intensity for you during the squats. One more on each side here. Good. Flat back in the center. Slowly round up. Exhaling. Take a breath in. Exhale, come down again. This time we're going to hold that flat position. I'm going to turn to the side just for a second because when we do this rotation where we drop the shoulder toward the, mid the midline of the body, that top shoulder opens, right? So that happens as one unit. If you've got concerns with your spine or your discs, then coming and staying here flat in the center is a better place for you to be. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, come to center. Then we're gonna take that other shoulder, my left, your right, drop it down in the center. Remember that other shoulder starts to open toward the ceiling. That spine is really long. Kind of have this picture in your head of top of the head to tailbone just being nice and long. Good breath cycles here. Good, one more. Exhale, come center. Round up slowly. Good, a little back. Bring your feet in. Go ahead and take your right foot back, lengthening it through that calf. Arms out and arms are open. So I just want to encourage you on the push-ups, okay? Push-ups are hard. I know, they really, really are. But using those levels of progression will really help you. So once you start to feel like being at the wall is not quite as much intensity as you need, then maybe take it to the floor or take it to the back of um, a really heavy couch if you have a really heavy couch or your countertop, something that's not going to move. That's the key is to be pressing against something that's not going to move. And then if you can go to the floor, go to the floor. Start off with small, a small number of repetitions, maybe even a smaller range of motion. And it's okay. And just keep building. Just keep building. All right. Your right, my left, add in front. You're sitting back with the hips, lifted through the toe. Body weight is on this bent leg. And now press that foot down. Reaching back with the tailbone. Core is strong here, we're connected. Pull that toe up, come on back up. So next workout is going to um, look a little similar to the beginning of this one. There's gonna be more stability involved. Okay, press that foot down. and stability, don't be nervous, be excited to work on it, okay? I know a lot of people say, oh, my balance is so bad. Um, well, we have to work on it, just like everything else, we gotta work on it. Circle at your ankle, reverse it. Good, other side, nice big circles. 
and reverse it. My shoe's still untied. That's okay. Getting ready to fix that in a minute. Good, last thing. So we're gonna stretch the front of that leg. So right through that quadricep. If you need something to hold on to, find that thing that's not moving. Right, right draw that knee up. Draw that heel up rather. Knee stays right underneath you. Stand it really tall. Challenge yourself by not holding on. Okay, but you know where that thing is. It's not gonna move. If you need to grab it. Being by a wall is ideal. It helps also remind you to stand up nice and tall. Little bend in that leg that you're standing on. Slowly release that leg down so we're not letting it fling away from us. Okay, find that thing that you need to hold on to. Drawing that heel up, knee points toward the floor. Really tall posture. Great breathing. And a tiny bend in the standing leg, don't forget. Doing great. All right, release that down slowly. Good. All right, take a breath in for me. Blow it out. One more time. Inhale up. Blow it out. As you hold here, keep your hips right where they are. I want you to open those arms, press them toward the back, being mindful of where your tailbone is, right? So if your arms go back, don't allow that tailbone to go. Sometimes it wants to, so just keep it where it's supposed to be. Good, pull the elbows in, bring your feet in. Continuing to open across the chest in front of the shoulder. Good, arms go down. Chin toward the chest. Good breath cycles here. Check your toes, are they facing forward? I hope so. If not, we'll just fix them. One more breath here. Exhale gently. Bring the head up. Good. Great job today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick little workout. Remember, do it again.